Hey everybody, we're moving. We're moving away from Florida. We're headed to Arkansas. It's almost the end of October and we've got about a week left. And I don't know if I'll have time to make this later. I might even forget, but I wanted to touch base with you. One final look around the yard and garden here because it's going to be different from now on. Some things you just can't grow in Arkansas that seem to do fairly well in Florida. So, I wanted to take you around, give you one last look at certain things like the Gros Michel here. Look at how that's doing. Look how big them leaves are getting. Nice big leaves. Get a good look up there. Look how nice they look. I don't know how that turned out because I couldn't see it up there, but there's the Gros Michel. And you can see here I got the mango trees here they're doing really well that's the lancella this one over here is your common glen mango it's probably going to be loaded next year these are the high noon bananas that's h3460 or 3640 3640 sorry about that take a quick look through here look at the size of these things Giant papayas, way up high and tall, loaded with fruit here at the end of the summer rainy season. This is my little sugar loaf. It's not very big. It doesn't like the sand. When you buy at the store, they do pretty good. And this is my pride and joy, my dark star dragon fruit. I'm going to take a couple of cuttings and try to do something with them up north in a pot. I've heard that they do well in a pot. I have not tried it very much. I had one in a pot, but it didn't get really big. Here's another little papaya. He's struggling in a couple of store brand pineapples here. And of course, you guys are all intimately familiar with Mr. Composter here. He's most of the way full. And the lady that bought the house, she's all excited to have a composter. She's always wanted one. So, that's what we're doing there. But I've got a little bit of a surprise over here on the other side of the yard for you. Let me just get my face in the screen. Not that it's that good of a face, but it's better than looking at my belly, I guess. Over here on the other side of the yard. Got the white dragon fruit here. Not a big deal. A couple of pineapples. There's another pineapple over there by the tree. And I've got a dragon fruit planted up by that tree. It's starting to take off and grow. You probably haven't seen that. I haven't shown that to anybody yet. You can kind of see it right there. That's the way they naturally grow, is up trees. So that's what it's doing. And then over here we got this little guy. I'm not sure what his deal is. That's the jackfruit tree. Looks like something's going on with him. But he's still alive and still growing. And no, this is what I was talking about. The other banana I haven't really focused much on. I'm not a big fan of them, but they're the, what they call the American ice cream banana. And come around here and look at this one. Look real careful there. You'll see right here, it's a flag leaf. That comes on top of a flower, which will create a bunch of bananas. So the lady that's buying our house is going to get those too. So I've got a few other odds and ends around here, but you just saw mainly what's important to me in my garden, my fruits and vegetables. One thing about Florida, if you're moving down here and you think, wow, I can grow tomatoes year-round, squash, cucumbers. No, you can't. Uh, at least not along the coastline. We're nine miles from the coast and in Palm Bay, and they do not grow here very well at all. Now, if you're in the center of the state, especially down south around Okeechobee area, they have some big farms down there. And I don't know how they do it, but they grow great tomatoes. They taste terrible. They don't have that delicious flavor that you get up north, but they get big and they make lots of fruit. So, that's... 
my garden for down here. Probably be the last video we'll get of the garden down here. All my tropical plants. Hello, this is Putnam. If you enjoyed that, please check this out.